Um, it's right, we got a Skoda. So we picked up this 93,000 mile Skoda Octavia estate, one litre SE, to see if it's any good. Yeah, we're gonna put it through some real world testing. We're gonna do the kind of things that you are gonna be doing if you buy this car. Oh, I definitely felt a bump then. The boot has a whopping 640 litre capacity. That's enough for all your kidnapping needs. And more than enough space for two fully grown adults comfortably. Not like the TT. Hold on. <laughs> Ow! Oi! So if I fill this tank with E10 petrol, the cheapest of the cheap, I can get up to 579 miles out of one fill up. So here we have a one litre three cylinder petrol engine packing a whopping 108 brake horsepower and 148 foot pound of torque. It's just two foot pounds shy of being able to pull the skin off rice pudding. Sounds good, let's go and do some real world testing. Yeah, but before we can do that, we need to decide who's driving. So I suggest rock, paper, scissors. Oh, right, ready? Count us in. One, One. two, three. Oh. Yes! <laughs> Cameraman for the day. Woohoo! Wait, no, this, this isn't going to work. Why you stop filming? Mate, we need to go and watch this. It is disgusting. I mean, look at the state of that. To do a proper review, this has got to be clean. <sighs> okay. Right, we need to get into the mindset of a Skoda owner. If we're getting this washed, it needs to be as cheap as possible. Yes, because uh, no fancy car washes for Skoda owners. No, they're not the sort of people that sit there for three hours on a Sunday afternoon polishing it. I'm thinking supermarket scratch and shine. The machine with the rollers. Perfect, yes. Am I going left or right here? Right. Oh, we've got a sat-nav built in. Do you want to show them the sat-nav? So that's the sat-nav. It's, uh, it's pretty fancy. Should we try and use this to find a car wash? I was about to say. I wonder if it works. Uh, let's go for Tesco, that's the nearest supermarket car wash, that's the one, petrol station, let's go there. We'll go for the greenest route, yep. please. The destination is in the direction shown. Oh, look, drive this. Oh, you're doing it like a Skoda owner as well, look at that. Oh yeah. I like that. I changed oh. up at three, that felt a little bit oh. high to change up, although with the lack of power of this engine. Please turn right after nope. 250 yards onto yes, Great Road. Now, general um, etiquette of a Skoda owner, do they let people out at junctions? Oh, 100%. There's a lot of traffic. Is this too much traffic? Well, you we know the chat. area. We, we can, can chat. Oh, no, we can turn around because we can test its three-point turn ability. Uh -huh, we could. Right, camera out. So, where's our... That's our turning circle here. Hang on, right. So Mirror signal remover. Out. And because this has massive tyres and very small alloys. I'm not bothered about going over that bit of kerb. Oh, yes. Mission accomplished. Yeah, now do a left. I'll do a bit of back road driving. One thing I'm noticing as we're sat in this nose to tail traffic is that the, um, the idle is not nice. It's so lumpy. It's just horrible. It's almost like the engine is missing a cylinder. It's because it is. <sighs> Got our code here for the cheapest wash available. How much was it? Three pound ninety nine, which I still think is too expensive. If I'm honest with you, do you not park close enough? <laughs> Scratch and shine. Oh, this makes me so uncomfortable. Oh, I can feel the scratches as they happen. It's not a good noise, is it? No. Right, now it's clean, should we actually talk about the car? I think it's probably a good idea. Yeah, I, I think we should. So, um, I mean, the first thing that I want to mention is this nice big infotainment system here. Uh, I mean, everything you need, all within reach. You've got sat-nav, which seems pretty good from what I've seen yeah. so far. Um, we've got it does uh, car DI, DAB we radio which is good. Bluetooth. Uh, yeah, Bluetooth your phone. You can have your contacts there and stuff. Um, and it's all, yeah, nice and easy to access there. From a perspective of comfort, it's actually quite nice. Um, the seats are comfortable. It's got an armrest, which is reasonably the same size as the other side. Yeah. It's not, it's not a bad place to be. As far as looks go, I would go as far as to say that this car doesn't look bad doesn't look great. No, it's, it's definitely not great, but it's it's not fugly, is it? No. For an estate car, uh, 
yeah, it's it's far from offensive. There are some really ugly cars out there from around this age. It's not it's not too futuristic. They're not trying to be something it's not. Yeah, that's it. There isn't yeah. an odd number of exhaust pipes or anything like There's that. It's not two so. doors, one side, three door, another side. Yeah, it's 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 an okay looking car. Um, Ooh, oh, it's oh, right, we got a Skoda. It's yeah, it's we fine. can scratch it all we want. It's fine. It's silver as well, so that doesn't. Yeah, oh. it hides everything, right? I tell you what I do like is the dual zone climate control. Now you okay. clearly like it warm and I clearly like it cold. So yep. I've got a nice cold air blowing on my face. Yeah, I'm gonna warm mine up a little bit. I I'm think. not too hot and you can also make it dual if you wanna just make the other person suffer. And they yeah, I can just hit dual. this uh, sink button here and then you go all the way up to 26 degrees and I can just knock, <laughs> knock it back down again. But that makes it bearable because if you're doing a long journey and let's say for instance, your partner likes it. It's usually hot. the other way around. It's usually yeah. that my wife wants it really hot and then I'll just want it like normal. And you're level. wearing shorts and a t-shirt, she's wearing a coat yeah. and it's like, what are we doing here? So now we've had a bit of a chance to sort of get to know the car, drive the car. Yeah. Do you feel like you could be a Skoda owner? I, I'm getting there, but there's something something missing. I, I, think I've, I think I've sussed what's wrong. Yeah? I don't look like a Skoda driver. You don't. So I think we need to go and... Uh, Go and buy me some clothes to make me look like a Skoda driver. I think we could definitely arrange that. So, the deal is that because I'm driving, you get to pick what I wear. Let's go. There is so many solid options here. I mean, we've got stripes, stripes, Ooh, the kind of colour your mum would pick for you. But yeah. to be honest, I feel like an older gentleman would. Oh. But. We're gonna need something else. Hold that for a second. We need accessories, do we? With this wrapped around with the woolen. Let's get you is, is that is that my outfit, yeah? Yeah. To complete the ensemble, I thought you needed one more item, which whilst you're in the cafe having your lunch, okay. I uh, snuck off and bought these bad boys. Oh my goodness. Because they look Comfort, yeah. Comfort over speed. They look super comfy. They're in your size as well. And oh, for a charity shop, three ninety nine. So I'm thrifty. So I mean, this is meeting the stereotype of my wife buys my clothes, and I'm forties. You know, uh, yeah. but there's definitely other types of Skoda owners out oh, there. Definitely. So the first one that goes for me is is a Reps car because it's it's plain, it's cheap. It's going to do two hundred fifty thousand miles in its first three years. Yeah. Big boot. Doesn't give the wrong impression when you turn up for a meeting. Yeah, it doesn't turns look too up, swanky. You're not swanky. It doesn't look crappy because it's still new. Yeah. And it's thrifty. It's going yes. to be reasonably cheap to maintain and run. Yeah. Right? And then you've got the, uh, they don't give a, uh, don't care about cars at all. They oh. just want something with a big boot that they can do the tip run on a Sunday. And it's going to last for a long um, time. It doesn't cost too much money. Exactly. Yeah. Also, you've got the older generation. So those have maybe retired wanted something reasonably good, yeah. may last them for the rest of their life. I mean, I feel like in this get-up, I kind of meet that requirement yeah, as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah, your wife buys your clothes for you and you're retired. So. Yeah, I'm ticking two Especially with them shoes, boxes. they look very comfy. Oh, mate, these are amazing. I think another test is doing the Saturday shop. Ah. Oh. So let's, um, let's go to a supermarket. Okay, so let's go shopping as a Skoda owner. Yes, let's. Oh, this will do, won't it? Yeah. Nice uh, M&S. But realistically... Marks and Sparks, we can buy the food we need from here, can't we? Yeah, but realistically, would a Skoda owner come into Marks and Spencers? No, I can't afford that. No, okay. On to the next one. All right, so into Tesco's. Yes. Does this feel more like a Skoda owner's yeah, shopping ground? Yeah, I mean, ground? It's, it feels better. Um, although now that I think about it, I've just seen that big yellow dot, that does remind me that they actually try and price match another supermarket, which means that other supermarket must also be cheaper. And being a thrifty Skoda owner. We need to save money. Yeah. Mm, right, okay. On to the next one. Just so that this bit wasn't a wasted trip, I've got an idea for a challenge. Um, I think, because I just saw a wall back there with one of those black strips. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's a perfect way to test how close we can use the reverse cam the reverse sensors, see how close we can get to the object. Let's Should we it. do it? Let's go. Go on in. How close can I get to this wall? Do you have the technology? Ooh. Ooh. There's another, there's another, hang on, right, I've not stopped, I've not stopped. It's just we're on a bit of a hill. I've got a creep. Oh, this is nerve-wracking. 
Oh, I definitely felt a bump then. You definitely touched it. Oh, bump it. Let's right. see if you can do any better then. All right, come on in. Yep, no cheating. Let's see how well you can do. It's horrible because it's on a hill. Yeah. And I win. <laughs> oh no, be on, go on, go on. Be, get brave, see how go close on. you can get, come on, without touching. You've got to get it onto the final line. Yeah, yeah. Go on. Oh, I wonder how close it is. Oh, Let's have a look. right, so that there's no, um, no, oh, oh. did you leave it again? Yeah. <laughs> right, no cheating, let's see. Oh, I'm pretty sure we're touching. <laughs> So I think we should just sum up our thoughts on the Skoda Octavia Estate. Now I'm going to start, great car, rubbish engine. They oh. offer a 1.5 petrol or they offer a 1.6 diesel. If, now, if you have no interest in cars, the one litre is fine. Okay, granted it's fine, but that's, that's all a, it yeah, is. It's, it's and it is, it is good on fuel. Yeah, really good. Doesn't I mean, we've averaged much. 52 miles to the gallon. And we've been messing around. We have been messing around. So. Um, okay, so engine choice, if you don't care about cars, go for the one litre because it's the cheapest option. Yeah, if not get a VRS. And this is on 90, <laughs> yeah. This is on 93,000 miles and yeah. it's still going strong. Yeah, and it's still doing decent returns on miles to the gallon. So, and should you buy a cheap. high mileage one, yeah. yes, yeah. Don't, don't worry about it. Um, but if you want something with a bit more power, yeah, you've got the 1.5 petrol, 1.6 diesel, they do the two litre TDI as well, which for years has been a staple diet of, yeah. of these type of cars. Um, what do you think? Yeah, I think to be honest, bare bones, it's a good car. It's got all the right bits. You can fit whatever you want in it, really. Adults, children, dogs. Sounds like a golf. I mean, it's just as good as a golf estate, isn't it? Exactly, and um, for less money. Um, it's got some tricky bits. Make sure you get the newer one with the better um, stereo and the, the in-car infotainment system. And with a cruise, that's a nice touch. Yeah. yeah but 100%. if you want to attract the other sex, same sex, anyone, um, this is probably not the best car for you. Absolutely it's, not. It's this as beige <laughs> as beige can be. It's as beige as this jumper. <laughs> <laughs> None of your friends are going to go, ooh, is that Octavia? Yeah. <laughs> well, but if you want to blend into the background, you may have yeah. one friend. <laughs> if, if you, you want to, yeah. never want to be hassled by boy racers. That's it. Never be acknowledged by anyone. That, yeah. If you want people to let you out at junctions. Never been broken into because the likelihood of you having anything other than some empty get bags for life in the boot is low. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and just a good all round car that's not all singing, all dancing. Yeah, it's it's not all singing, all dancing. It's some singing, that right some dancing. Yeah. And I think on that bombshell, let's go back to the pub. Let's go to the pub. <laughs>